Hey friends, welcome back to another video. And as you can probably guess by where I am in my horribly lit echoing bathroom and by the shirt that I have on, I am doing a video that I have not done in a very long time actually. And that is a hair color video. I figured I would, you know, use this time during quarantine when none of us are able to go anywhere or do anything outside of our homes to change up my hair a little bit, have some fun and just, you know, switch it up because oh, why not during this time that we are given? And I know a lot of people out there are also doing the same thing. So I thought I would do this video and kind of do it as a multi-functional instructional tutorial type of video as well to give you guys some tips and tricks during this time on how to either color your hair with temporary hair color the semi-permanents that i use um tone your blonde um and you know make it so that your blonde lasts better if you're finding your blonde is getting brassy or anything since you cannot go to the hair salon right now to get your blonde refreshed so this is going to kind of be a multi-purpose like i said um i am going for a bit of a deeper color i'm not just toning my blonde actually there's not this this lighting is terrible there's nothing really wrong with my blonde right now it's um i've got a blonde balayage which is what i have had for some time now um it has grown out a bit as you can see but i mean balayage i like it better anyways the more it grows out but my blonde is fine it's not looking brassy or gross or anything um it's been maintaining really 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 well but like i said I just want to switch it up and stuff so why not what i have in front of me here is i've got arctic fox semi permanent colors i've got mainly this girl's night which is a nice like light pastel lilac -y purple and then what i have done is i've mixed it into this bowl here and i've just added the two tiniest little dollops of Transylvania, yes, Transylvania, which is the Arctic Fox Black. I just wanted a slightly smokier, little bit darker color than the Girls' Night straight out of the bottle. So that is what I have mixed up here. And I will show you these swatches that I've done on this paper towel. So this, I don't know if you guys can see it in this light, but this is the original just straight out of the bottle and then this was with one dollop teeny and i'm talking like a teeny 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 tiny dollop of the black and then i just added a second one and you can see that it deepened it just that little bit more um this girl's night is a pastel shade so it's not going to give you super deep rich color and it is going to wash out faster but that is actually perfect if you want to maintain your blonde and not really dye your hair and fully saturate it with color. So what you can do if you don't want any color really at all and just as a toner, just take just that and just mix it with a ton of conditioner so that you've got a really, really, really subtle purple color and then that'll just take out any of the yellowy brassy tones in your blonde and if you want to go more if you've got more of an ash blonde which mine started out as more ashy it's kind of the ashiness has come out which it's hard to keep the ash tone for a super prolonged period of time without retoning um, but if you want to get that ashy tone then you would go for more of a blue color and actually be perfect i have it uh, the perfect color is the Periwinkle from Arctic Fox. It's a really nice pastel bluey, there it is right there. But it's nice and light um, and it will give you more of that icy ashy tone to your blonde or you can mix the two together, which I was kind of, I was humming and hawing between this or this or these mixed together or one or the other of these with a little bit of the black. I eventually settled on the purple 
itty teeny tiny little bit of the black. The next time I've got this, this is a full bottle. So I, I have a feeling we're gonna be in quarantine for some time. So I've got some time to switch it up. So I'm going to start slapping this into my hair. I put some gloves on. Okay, so gloves are on. I'm gonna start putting this in my hair. And I'm just gonna start from the top. My hair is washed and cleaned with absolutely nothing in it. No conditioner, no leave-in conditioner, no heat protectant, nothing. Um, and then I just let it air dry and that is that. That will give you the best absorption for your color. Nothing to impede the color absorbing into the hair shaft. So you're not like putting like a, a layer, a coating of anything onto your hair that's going to prevent the color from fully, fully, fully absorbing and saturating your hair. We're just gonna start slapping this in. I'm going to speed this up so that you guys don't get bored. But again, um, if you don't want the color and you just want to tone your blonde, you would just do a really, really diluted mixture of the color and let that sit in your hair. But I'm going for a little bit more color because it is going to wash out. And again, I just want something fun and change it up for a bit. So let's get this in my hair and I'll come back to you guys when it's all in. Okay guys, so all of the color is in. I think I got the back as best I could. Um, I'm never really super, super careful with the back to be honest, cause it gets covered and when my hair is all curled and stuff, you can't tell. But it is all in, I'm going to leave this. I would say to leave it for minimum an hour. You can really actually leave it as long as you want. It's kind of like a hair mask. Uh, these Arctic Fox ones have tons of a beneficial moisturizing ingredients and all of that there's no chemicals so it's not going to harm your hair it's vegan you can leave it on as long as you want and honestly when you rinse it out your hair is going to feel so so silky soft and, and if you end up mixing with conditioner to make more of a pastel color or custom color for yourself then it's just going to treat your hair and moisturize your hair even more while it sits. So, I mean, I'm gonna go about the rest of whatever with this on and I'll rinse it out whenever the heck I get a chance to rinse it out. And then what you're gonna wanna do with any excess color that you have is you're going to want to have an extra bottle like this and you're going to put that into this, add a little bit of conditioner and mix it all up and then you've got yourself a custom tinted conditioner that you will use every single time you wash your hair and it'll be tinted the same color that your hair is and every time you wash your hair and condition with this afterwards it's going to deposit a little bit of that color redeposit it into your hair i should say a little bit every single time after being washed out a little bit because these semi-permanents, they are washed out. So every single wash, a little bit is going to come out. So you redeposit some in your hair with your conditioner, leave it in your hair in the shower for a little bit while you shave your legs, wash your face, do whatever, scrub your body, and then rinse. And it's going to maintain your color that much longer, that much better, especially with lighter colors, because again, they wash out faster and your hair color will last that much longer. And I would also suggest washing and rinsing in cool or cold water. Warm water is just going to make the color leach out of your hair more and it's going to fade faster. Also hot tools, heat styling, minimize that as much as possible. Any sort of heat is again going to make the color fade faster and 
wash your hair as little as possible. I personally only wash my hair once a week for the most part, not so much when I have blonde, but when I have these colors, I only wash once a week and I go through dry shampoo like crazy. It is my best friend, but that allows me to only wash my hair once a week. So these colors last me that much longer. And if you want to take this up another notch and give yourself like the full vibrant, deep jewel tones or like a full black or something like that really deep and dark your permanent your semi-permanent color is going to last that much longer as well that's what i used to do i used to go for the really deep rich tones and then just enjoy the fade out and i would go all the way from super jewel toned rich to like pastel and then it was pretty much gone and i would recolor so that is how you can maintain all of that and go from one end of the spectrum to the other. You can pick and choose in between. I'm not sure exactly how much color this is going to be now that it's actually in. I don't know how pastel it's gonna be or if it is going to actually end up just like a toner and not really so much color at all. Either way, I'm not mad at it and we will see what it all looks like when I rinse it out. So I'm gonna let this sit. I'm gonna go about my business. I'm gonna rinse it all out and I will show you what it's like when it's rinsed and dried. And ta-da, there we go, guys. This is what it looks like. I'll rinsed out and dry. I haven't styled it. I also got out of the terrible bathroom lighting and got out of my grubby dying t-shirt. And we've got a nice pastel, smoky purple. It is exactly what I wanted. It's pretty much a tone with just a little hint of color, especially in the front here where I have my Arctic Blondes um, that really love to pick up pigments because they are just like stark white, less natural color that you have in your hair, the more your hair will absorb any of those semi-permanent colors, which is why those bits get a little bit more color on me and they are all in the front, but I absolutely love it. And it's um, just deepened up my natural a little bit as well. You can see it's a little bit like deeper and darker and it just kind of flows more and better and blends. I'll show you the back. So there you go. That is how you can fix your hair, color your hair, change your hair, whatever you wanna do while you are in quarantine while you can't go to the hairdresser. And some um, tips from me to you, just to clarify and be clear, I am not a hairdresser. I am not a trained hairdresser. I've been playing around with my own hair for years and uh, dyeing my own hair in various ways for years, uh, but I am not trained. However, I do have it on very good authority and I have very good advice from my best friend who is a hairstylist, Kate Slemko. I will put her handle and information and all of that stuff down below. So you guys can go and check her out when the salon opens back up and when we are all out of this whole isolation incident. Um, she is amazing, and if you tell her I referred you, you will get $20 off your first service. So, again, I am not trained. However, I have very good advice from a trained hairdresser, and uh, yeah, she walked me through this whole process as she always has with my funky colors that I've done in the past and helped me with my blonde, and she's She's the mastermind behind all of my hair, basically. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. And stay tuned real soon for a video on um, how I'm going to style this and maybe some makeup to go with it. And I will see you guys then. Thank you again. I hope you're having a great day evening, week, weekend, whatever it is, wherever you are, whenever you are watching this, take care and we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Mwah.